Hello and welcome back guys, you are gaming with me, Brothgar, and today I'm going to be playing a little bit more of the Adventure Capitalism, and I'm also going to be checking in here on the Adventure Communism, because, boom, two games in one, that's what you do when you pretty much complete a game, nearly everything in a game. And besides, I feel like connecting with you guys, you're like my biggest audience, you're the biggest chunk of this channel, and I've been slamming you guys, I'm starting to feel guilty about it, with oxygen not included, which most of you guys, I understand, are not terribly interested in, but I'm like obsessed with the game, so whatever, that's fine. What I'm going to be trying to do here is potentially seeing just how many angels I can get. At some point, apparently this game completely glitches out, and I suppose that's going to be a good moment to try to get to, because why not? New, by the way, we have a new event. If I wanted to go ahead and making it rain 2017, I could launch this sucker up and we're gonna play this one too. So there is some stuff to do here. There we go. A little bit of a, get some eggs. Very nice, some shamrocks. I like this one. It's a nice tune. Let's listen to this one for a little while. I'm also gonna read some of your comments. I'm not gonna read all of them. Holy cow, there's like 118 over there. <laughs> that would take forever. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and take a look here back at Earth, right over there, and check out where I'm at as far as the investors go. So, Sept Quadragatotillion, how about that? I said it right for like the first time ever. You guys have been like freaking out for the last whatevers. Look at that, I believe that is Sep Septon. Quadragatotillion is the official name, Septon, which they, I guess they abbreviate, you know, that's what happens. Look at this, 860 results, please don't make me find this again. Look, 282 apparently is how many zeros we got slapped behind this sucker, which is completely untangible, but just to give you an idea, I mean, look at how much more we could go. You thought this series was nearly done, I mean, holy cow, we could just keep going. This will never end. It'll be the never ending game. Like I told you, we could play this game. I could play this game when I'm dead. It'll never finish. Look at that. I it, we, we went past numbers. Numbers have just disappeared at this point. Whatever this list is. Okay. Let's see if I can read this one. Novan. Novan non. Non. Good. Good. No, what does it read when I say this? What? Clearly, that's exactly what it was. Let's hear that again. Mm -hmm. You guys think I've been saying it wrong this entire time. Clearly. Clearly, I had it right. <laughs> Whatever. Dude, I don't know. I think I'm going to use that all today. Like... Convert to text to speech. That'll be fun. Let's head over to the comments just for the sake of it. Do a little bit of top comments. Do a little bit of new at first. Let's let's hit it up. New first. Mark. Mark Harvey. I'm doing pretty well in the game. Already at platinum. Bro, you're doing great. And have. Look at this guy. How, how much do you have? Oop, I want to click it. Set quadragetillion. Okay, I said that one right. Okay, fine. Dollars, you got me into this game. You're amazing. Thank you so much, Mark. I'm glad you're enjoying the game. Bruh. Uh, link to the program. You got it. Um, and I believe the code is in the link text description below. Now, I don't mean that ugh, to be offensive, right? The more links I put down there below that redirect away from YouTube, the less YouTube likes your video. Okay, a little side tip right there. They want you to stay on YouTube. And if you redirect people away from YouTube, then they don't want to promote your video. Who's this guy? Huh? How do I say that? 100 subscribers with no videos. Oh, that's so sad. Should I boost my platinum to uh, 777 or boost the moon? Bro, if you got the platinum upgrade to 777, that's what you do. You boost that. Don't get me wrong. You can actually boost the moon and that'd probably be a great idea if you want to complete the moon. It's up to you. It's your game. But I would, I like the big numbers. What can I say? Sorry about blowing your ear out a little moment ago. I got a pop filter, but it's it apparently isn't working that well. Try it. Oh, as if there wasn't enough things going on. I've been working on like a big 3D printer, like a real big. It's legitimately gonna be about 800 millimeters square and about a meter tall. I'm going for one cubic meter volume. 
which is ridiculous and I'm gonna have to find my way to make pellets into filament just so that I can fuel the sucker and not like burn up my wallet but I'm trying to make a really big printer so that's that's like a sidebar of what I'm trying to do around here I know a lot going on oh I got more you know what else I've been doing we're just gonna get it all out of the way to begin with completely forgot the name of the game I'm trying to think of um, Horizon Zero Dawn I rented that game and you know what that has got to be the one of the coolest looking games artistic style I've seen in a long time absolutely love it beautiful game as far as the game mechanics they're, they're Far Cry Primal I mean if you've seen Far Cry Primal it's a lot the same if you played it it's, it's gonna be pretty similar uh, in some ways it's you know it's a little bit less refined but I think the animals are a lot more interesting to deal with although somewhat more predictable I, I don't know it's pretty cool I like it definitely a game worth renting or buying at a low price I think all action adventure games like that or whatever those action are it's not an action RPG whatever it is role-playing game open world sort of somewhat that sort of game you understand what it's like Far Cry like to me I never really want to pay 60 bucks for those games because I know it's a single-player game and I'm gonna get about 20 hours out of it and then I'm gonna get bored of it and then no longer play it anymore so I always try to either buy those games and then return them within a couple weeks to get like 30 bucks back which isn't a half bad price for the experience or I rent them you know cost me eight dollars and I think I got 10 hours out of it so I'm like halfway through the game just run it again when I've got the time to do it and boom I'll play it up you know what you know what else is coming out and I legitimately took a vacation just to play this game not knowing if I'm going to enjoy it at all realistically I just need a vacation um, Mass Effect Andromeda looks freaking sweet man now I'm not a huge Mass Effect fan I've played some Mass Effect games a couple of times and I'm like you know they're pretty good but I never really like got into them that much Mass Effect Andromeda though I don't know if I'm just buying into the hype but I think I might enjoy it matter of fact boom I just got myself a shamrock badge tomorrow St. Patrick's Day happy St. Patrick's Day and happy anniversary to this channel to everybody here this channel has been going for four years how about that squeezing lemons painting eggs that's all we've been doing all right a few more comments from Nicholas says what did he say let's read it Rothger, did you know that the top money, I think, is 177.79 centillion dollars? Bro! We're gonna have to find out. That's kind of nice. It's kind of like a weird change-up. You don't have to listen to me read it and mess it up every time. Um, no, I have no idea that that might be the top money, but you know what? We're gonna find out. I'm gonna write it down. 177.79. Uncentillion. That's actually a really fun word to say. Un... Senatilian. Baroom. Right there. Max Money. From Nicholas. Lawrence L. I don't think you're alone. I don't think the code worked for anybody. I tried. I tried to post it. Uh, let it go for all night. Wouldn't go past the first page. But only click in the top right corner of the screen. Yeah, I feel like that was everybody's problem. It may have something to do with the fact that I have two monitors. One over here, one over there, and it's 19. It's 1080p, and you have to run it in window mode. If you don't do that, then it's pretty much not going to work. Galaxy Spooks, how do you do? Brothgar, I am, I've been just crazy busy every single day. Like, not crazy busy at work. I mean, busy, but I've, people at least have been li leaving me alone. I basically have been coming home every single day, have dinner, and just been making videos constantly all night. But maybe a little bit too much time into you know YouTube trying to find things mostly oxygen not included just like I spent hours figuring out how to make perfect steam then what do they do legitimately release an update today when I figured it out yesterday night and they include steam geysers so basically it's easy to get steam waters everywhere my key trick my master plan gone right down the drain oh well what can I say Andrew Grayman understands GG man I know totally over GGXD? Bro, she asked it like a question. All right, so what do we got here? Eggs. Man, this is so... Run run the Lebegon. Yeah, there we go. There we go. You know what? Let's take a look at adventure. 
communist. Got real quiet. Let's go check it out. Here we go. What kind of music does it got going on? Where's, where's the music? Where, the, the boom, the gear right in front of you. All right. So, it's a little bit loud, a little bit loud. Let me tone that back for you. Adventure Communist has had some decent updates as of somewhat recently, within like the last couple of months. And I would say that the game is much more playable now. So it's got a much more linear progression. Start with potatoes, you go to lands, go to ore, go to weapons. Medicine is really hard because it takes a lot of resources from everything right there. And as you go to click on certain things or whatever, you can hit the question mark or hit the money mark over there and you get the understanding. And it's much more less random feeling, right? So right off the bat, it didn't feel like that had a really good sort of flow as far as buying the communes, buying the collectives, buying the platoon. Those were all kind of weird, but now it makes a lot more sense. And your one governor, the governor of speed, constantly is comrades. Comrades controls how fast you can progress. Um, scientists are up here. Those are boosts, essentially. You build boost by also getting more and more of this stuff down here. So, right, I get a colony, I get some more of this stuff. If I claim it, maybe I'll do that right now. Boom. I'm going to get a little bit more science. Using that science, I can go into experiments and I can boost up the amount of comrades I'm going to get times 7777 because I like them sevens, just like in adventure um, capitalism, <laughs> if I say it right. Uh, I can do this for five and boom, my comrades will just fly up here. So let me just go ahead and boost this up real quick, 50%. Now some people are asking why why don't you um why don't you do a playthrough of this game? The reason I'm not doing so much of a playthrough of this game right now is because it's constantly under development and they keep resetting the game, so your progress keeps resetting. So that's one of the things that I'm I'm not I don't want to jump in deep only to turn around and have to start all over again over and over again. But so far I'm really liking the game, liking the kind of updates right there. We have the daily drops. It gives you how many of those you have there so you can just start running it. So if you run all industries here and you just start going crazy on it and I've got two mice, so let's just double click it up. Double click it! Yeah. Okay, it takes a lot of clicking. Come on. I used to have my keyboard set up to where I could just click on my keyboard. Come on! Okay, it's actually going to work better if I put these side by side. It's the pro strategy. Come on, I know this strategy. And then click with one hand twice. Oh, yeah! Look at that speed! Come on! Feel the burn! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Wow, that was loud! Boom! More signs right there. So let's go ahead and do some of this stuff. Let's let's buy up some of these farmers. We're gonna buy some farmers, we're gonna buy some land, buy some ore, buy some weapons, maybe even some medicine. So. What do you have here is you get more nurses per second in different unlocks. So these unlocks are much like what we have in Adventure Communist as far as uh, Adventure Capitalist. Oh my gosh, I'm going to mess this up constantly. Adventure Capitalist. Those are like your upgrades back over here. So let's go back to Earth. So we can see the similarities between the two games. So that is not like on Earth because you've completed it. Come on. <laughs> All right. Here we go. We're on over here. So, that's like your unlocks over here where you get these boosts. Okay? Same sort of connection right there. You understand? Oh, man. This music inception going on right now. Okay. So, that's what the unlocks are like. Experiments are like the things that you can buy, essentially, just to boost everything up. Dude, it makes sense. Just read the stuff on the screen. I'm going to stop messing over, constantly trying to explain this. I'm not prepared. <laughs> I just want to make a quick video. To connect with you guys. All right, so comrades, how many comrades do I have left? I'm gonna go up to 100%. Boom! I've used up all my comrades. You see, I get 600, uh, 600 and no, go back to 100. 612 per second is how many comrades I make right there. The last piece of the puzzle is medals. So as you reach certain milestones, you get this sort of, you know different things that you claim right here. So I get more farms, actually I get science from those, mostly. So you get science boosts, which you can then apply to different things, land working. They're not all temporary boosts, by the way. There's some other ones. There we go, raw silver. Look at all that science I got over there. Boom, just like that. Okay, so now that I got a lot of science, let's go over here. If I go over to the state, you can see some fun stuff right there. Resource surge, get four hours worth instantly. 
you really want to get up there. Industry, you can also boost different things like potato production by 999. Huge, huge boosts. Get more farmers, 9x boosts. Totally worth it for some of these right there. They do cost a lot though. So I'm gonna do a trial zone. I'm just gonna do a comrade boost, seven, 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 seven. And you can see this for five, for 20 seconds. You can watch how much of those comrades are gonna come in. Look at that. Millions of new comrades are joining up. That's what I'm talking about. So, I'm actually gonna get some hives. Just like that, didn't get any hives before. Mm-hmm, plantations, we're gonna get some more collectives, and we're gonna get some huge communes right there. And you can see my limiting factor right down here if you read this. So that's comrades. So that's my limiting factor right there. Probably got some more unlocks and all that good stuff. See, comrades a second, boom. It's like a runaway train, and it just keeps getting faster and faster, much like what we have in Adventure Capitalist. So I can just claim all these. Boom. I'm gonna get a lot more comrades. See how many I get. So I went from 612 to 864, just like that. So there you have it. That's a little overview of the Adventure Communist. I think it's coming along pretty good. The one thing I think they still need to work on is to have a way to kind of have a grand overall full reset. What I didn't show there is you can actually reset each one of those things, like the farms, the plantations, all that stuff, and claim um, you can actually get it so that every six hours you get more science out of it. So that's kind of like your goal to get that up and make more science, which boosts productions. So you get the idea, right? Meow. I know that was kind of a rough overview, but there you have it. That's Adventure Communist. Hopefully that game will be coming out. Everybody's going to keep asking me, when does that game come out? I don't know, I don't make the game. But I'm hoping that it comes out here pretty soon, because that'll definitely be something that I will get into. Because it's much like this game, and it connects right up, and it looks pretty fun too. And I hope it'll come out on mobile at the same time it comes out on PC. Right now it's just in beta on PC. You gotta go through the Steam network to get there. Please reply. I have been here since Adventure Capitalist Episode 1 started. Man, that's been a long time. Thank you for being here, man. Alright, so let's go to some of the top comments here. Who's got the top comments? Me. Uh. Brett Buckman. Blah, 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 blah. Brett Buckman. Sorry. Almost messed up your name right there. Brathgar. I know you keep saying this, but how about playing Adventure Communist? Bro. I read your comment, so I want to show it off. There you have it. You got to see a little bit of it, a little bit. You guys let me know if you want to see more though. I do read your comments. They like show up on my phone. They show up over here. So I read them as they come in. 20K subs, by the way. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. Sweet. We finally hit that milestone. That's pretty awesome. Only 80,000 more to go to get that silver play button. That'd be pretty sweet. Looking forward to that. Hopefully not the next. What would that be? 16 years. <laughs> Hopefully it goes a little faster than the next 16 years. Oh my gosh. Just notice, Gratz Brat, thank you so much, Dare Snops. I know I've seen you here forever. The cool gamer. First dislike. Bro, get out of here. I know, you're just kidding. I think there was one, though. Maybe. I don't know, actually. Dislikes, likes. They're all engagement. It's all good stuff. Cool kid gaming. I still have all the treats. Bro, you stole it from me. He's got the cookies. He's got the cake. He's got everything. All right, this one, this one needs to be right here. here. Buff Bison Gaming. One, two, three. Was in VIDMSO happy PS? You should have 123,456,789 subscribers. Boom! Says Buff Bison Gaming. That'd be pretty awesome. 123 million? That might be too much, actually. <laughs> that might be too much. There's like a good number of countries that that's 
That's more than. I mean, PewDiePie's got like 50 some million. And that's too much. For sure. Dab dab. Got the first cookies right there. Dab dab. Oh man, the comments are like running over themselves. Oh no. I did like newest and top, and they were the same thing. Yi Hong, thank you so much for the uh, congrats there. How did you restart? Okay, that was a good question right here from the three stooges. How you restart, in case you don't know, uh, one, I completed absolutely everything here, but that doesn't necessarily clearly define how you restarted. So I completed all of the unlocks, 643 of 643. I go into career, where was that? Stats, and then reset right there. Boom. So when you hit that, you can then start all the over, except for you don't lose your upgrades and all the purchases that you've done. Speaking of which, I think I need to claim some of these. Sipaqua Dragon Detilian. Angels right there. Let's go ahead and run through one of these. Boom! That takes like zero effort to get all the angel upgrades just like that. Look at this. Nothing. I don't even have businesses running. Okay, it might actually be important to have those running. There we go. Mana! Over 10,000 on the lemonade stand now. Like it was nothing. Ooh, over 10,000 over here as well for the oil companies. Good deal. All right. That's pretty sweet. Back to them comments. I'm gonna go to the newest first again. Gabriel, good job on completing Mars, man. Congrats. Uh, Mick Muffiner. If you do another hard reset, do you get another 5,000 gold? No, you don't. Megan Lee, hashtag at Brothgar. Bro, read this. Are you guys gonna, this is gonna blow your mind. I didn't even know this because I never thought about buying it, but. Did you know that if you buy a Flux Spacator on the event, it works for every event? Didn't even know that. Been playing this game for like a year and a half, and I didn't even know that. Do I got some gold? No, I probably don't have any gold. I got gold, baby, I got gold, let's go. We're going over here, we're making it rain. We're gonna spend some Flux Capacitors over here. Cause I got money that I don't, it's just burning a hole in my pocket. Yeah, give it to me. Boodooosh! Look at how much faster that's going. Like, this is unreal. Everybody watch out. You're about to be run over by eggs. All right, Shamrock. Boom, now we got two of them going. Give me some managers. How close are the managers? $272? Bro, can I just import my money from Earth? I'm spoiled. Earth has completely spoiled me. <laughs> I didn't realize it now, but I am like a thousand percent spoiled in this game anymore. Crap. That's a pro tip right there, Megan Lee. We're gonna find out if that works. Maybe. The next event comes around. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not sure how to say your name, but I think she knows. I wrote to Nani. Okay. Oh, come on. We wanted to see you get one centillion. Bro, it isn't over yet. It's not over yet. And on that note, guys, I'm gonna shut it down for tonight make a little video here before I go to bed upload it tomorrow and hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day on the March 17th which is well it technically is today hopefully you guys are having a beautiful day happy St. Patrick's Day happy fourth year anniversary to the channel and thank you guys so much for watching and if I haven't earned your subscription already then thank you so much if you want to subscribe I messed up my outro have a good day have a great day have an awesome day I'll see you next time Stay awesome. Peace. Brothgar out.